I'm um, with Barry Ribs. We're back with Ray Ribs, the veteran comic. What's and, up? And we're also here with a new guy who's never done stand up before, named Matt. Matt, ladies and gentlemen, get it for Matt. Yeah. So I brought him here, like, uh, you know, I, like, I was going to interview, interview Barry, and, you know, Barry, me and you, we've been doing comedy for 17 years. And, you know, we've lost that. I mean, we still love doing stand up, but we're not, we don't have the freshness of, like, someone who just thought, oh, I want to get into comedy. Yeah. It, it, it's um, a wonderful thing for me, but as you say, I think you're intimating, your first year, it's like... It's amazing. You know, why don't I act like you're dumb and you just read a ventriloquist? Go ahead. Okay. Well, you know what I mean, you know? And, uh, yeah. and, and an interesting thing is, I met Matt last week at my show, and uh, I have a show at No Fun Bar on Tuesdays, and he thought it, he hung out at the room since 4 in the afternoon. The show's at 9 o'clock, 4 in the afternoon to get up. What he didn't know was the show's a book show, which a book show meaning we only book professional comics. You know, people have to email me or Facebook me and, you know. And, and, you, I, don't, and you don't pay a dime either, right? Well, you know, it's a free show. So don't you know? call it professional. Go ahead. Get it's back it's, a, it, back it's a workout. It's a professional Semi -pro. workout. Pro. Yeah, it's a workout. Pro. Let's not talk about logistics here. Point being, that's not the word. Go ahead. All right. Point being here, guys. Uh, he's interested in doing stand up. He thought it was the open mic night, which is on Mondays. And he was like, really like, he was like, asking me, oh man, I gotta do it. You know, I've never done stand up before. I just gotta do it. I know the bartender Cole. I gotta do it. So I was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's hold up on that. We'll book you in a later date. And I thought, I would love to interview this guy. You know, because like, I remember when I started doing stand up and all the crazy shit that was going on before. And I was just thinking, I want to get back to that point where what made you want to get into stand-up, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, the, one of the first times I ever even saw a live stand-up was at the bar, uh, like... At No Fun Bar? Yeah, like three months ago, you know? I, I, I just came, I didn't really, I wasn't planning, it wasn't really planned, I just kind of decided to come last minute, I was like, I'm gonna go check out this bar. Did you know? hear about the show, uh, the show I, there? Or I did, it? I did, I, I got a Facebook thing about it. Was it an open mic, or was it like a book, the, the... It was the, it was a Tuesday. Oh, my show? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, do you, you recognize me or something? No, no, I didn't actually, okay. uh, cause you didn't, uh, perform that night, I don't think. Oh, really? Or if you did, I missed you. Okay, you came later. I right? might have missed you. Yeah, you might have been like in the beginning. Well, maybe it wasn't fun. <laughs> no, no, no. He definitely, I didn't see him perform that night. Yeah, right. I didn't know you even did stand up. I, I, you know, I, so, so I saw you got, with guy running things, mm -hmm. you know. So you heard about the show and you came down because you just wanted to check it out, right? Yeah, yeah. And what, what made you want to check and it know, out? And I knew, I knew Cole. Uh, Cole. You know, and and uh, I hadn't seen him in a long time, you know, and since, uh, so you just wanted to see. You just wanted to see. A I just wanted to check it. Check it out. You know, I, I see see a friend I haven't seen in a long time, and just yeah. see what 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 goes on. You know. And Did you enjoy the show that night? Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Be honest, I mean, you know? yeah. I, it wasn't. Uh, you know, I know they're not like. You know, this isn't. Uh, you know, uh, last comic standing or something like that. You know, right, but right. I mean, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to just see what's up and. I don't know, I felt like I really, I felt like, I, I right then and there, right as I'm watching, mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I wanted to get you up You wanted to get up on stage. Like, seriously, yeah. What, was it because, like, it just seemed so easy? Like, because a lot of people I, it, say... I don't want to say it seemed easy, but I just, I never... But hey, I could do that too. I, yeah, yeah. Did you ever have that moment when, before, when you started doing stand-up, before you did stand-up, where you were like, I could do what he did? Or I could do better. Not at yeah, all. Yeah, right. that's exactly I, what I said. Myself. I said I I could do I could do I could do better than that. Well, you he was he was asking me the question. <laughs> <laughs> pay attention. That's how great actors become. You got to pay attention to the actor and shit. Um. No, matter matter of fact, uh, stand up was not my first choice. It was behind the scenes, sort of like savvy doing nothing now behind the scenes, <laughs> and Nick over here doing like nothing but just. Being entertained by, I would hope, us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nick is just over there. Is he still asleep? Is he still awake? All right. Still up? Uh, so you never had that? You never oh, he is, he is asleep and shit. Um, so, no, I was not that dude that said, on the contrary, 
back in the LA days when I was watching the lights of Arsenio and um, Robin Williams, I knew my place. I oh, was yeah. not going to be on the stage with those greats. So you know, I think that element, like uh, I can see both ways, because like before I did stand up, Great. I was like, well, I was like maybe 15, 14. Yeah. I had a shitty like life, man. I had like a lot of crap going on, but I I was drawn by watching stand up, like George Carlin. Uh, so in other words, so let me ask you this, if, I can, if we can roll with us asking you this. Mm -hmm. So you said basically growing up wasn't the easiest childhood right. and watching those dudes gave you joy and laughter. Like, yeah. And, and you felt like, and you, you actually felt like I could do that or I wanted, what was your, what well, was your mindset? Well, with Carlin and people like Carlin and Chris Rock, I was, I was like, man, I would love to do what he does. I can't do that. They, that's just so hard, you know, like to be that natural. But on the flip side, yeah. when I see like Comedy Central, yeah. like in like the late '90s when it was like the comedy proliferation, where yes, I see that and I go, oh, I can do what that guy does, or like or like a late night uh, stand up, gotcha. like on like Letter, like Letterman, not like the Tonight Show. Like I always, I never really liked comics who did the five minutes of the Tonight Show because I was just like. So what? You're just telling like, you're just basically promoting yourself. You're not really telling jokes. You're not really doing your act. You know. That's what. That's what how I kind of thought. I thought it was lame, but I was always into like the hour specials. You know, like I'd always watch that. Gotcha. You know, who's one of your favorite comics? Uh, I'd always say like uh, like Carlin, Pryor, Bruce, Kinnison. Wow. And sometimes, well, Dice back in the old days. How about some Austin. obscure? How about some obscure names? Do you have any of those? Obscure. I mean, uh... see, that's the thing that blows my mind. That every comic knows Colin and Pryor, but there are others out there. If, can I can I throw one out there that I love yeah, yeah. to death? Hi, Barry Diamond. I tell him on Facebook. He's on Facebook. You got to check out this dude, Barry Diamond. That's an obscure name in a way. Yeah. Sorry, Barry, but <laughs> it is what it is. Right. And uh, he's been on a few Seinfeld episodes, whatever. Barry Diamond to me is one of the funniest dudes that was ever born. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Okay, that's interesting. So, what about you? Were there any kind of comics that you looked up to, or did you like before you thought about? Yeah, I've always, I've always loved comedy in all its forms: mm -hmm. movies, television shows, stand, whether it's stand up. You know, I like comedy. You know, I like to laugh. Who doesn't no, I mean, like, like to laugh? Like, like specifically, what no, type? No, of I know, I know. I'm just, yeah. I'm kind of just. Doing a broad, <laughs> right, general right, right. little story here, right. <laughs> if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like I, I, yeah, like I said, I like comedy in all its forms. I, who doesn't like to laugh? You know, I mean, it, laughter is like, it's like medicine, right? That's what they say. It's the best medicine, right? I, I, we were talking but, like off, like uh, let me just circle and chant it. Like before you got on, we were talking about how like, because I told you I started doing stand up when I was seventeen, you know, and you were telling me like. How he couldn't even think about trying to do stand up at seventeen. But I'm now, not. but now you're like, how old are you? Twenty eight. You're twenty eight. Now you're like, I gotta do stand up. I gotta. I, I really, I, yeah, because I feel like I, I, I started thinking, you know, about after seeing the show and just being like, wow, I, I could do that, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I started actually thinking about what I would do if I did do it, you know, what mm -hmm. I would say, what kind of things I would talk about, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know. The more I thought about it, I just kept feeling that urge to do it. You know? have, have, you, have you written jokes down yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how do you know your jokes are funny, though? Like, oh, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Because you've funny. never... You've, I feel like I... Feel like I you've never even did an open mic, right? No, no, no. no. That would be interesting. So, we're, we're going to do that. We're actually going to... I'm going to give you your first set, and we're actually going to document it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give you five minutes of stage time in front of an audience. At a comedy yeah. show tomorrow. Tell me, I mean, I'm, I yeah. personally, I'm, I, I don't, I feel like I really don't have much to lose. I mean, yeah. I, I, like, I, yeah, you're right. I've never, I've never done it before. I don't, I don't know. I, well, I got no experience. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I don't really care what these people think. Right. You know? right I mean, right. if they don't think I'm funny, if I make a douche of myself, you know, oh well, yeah. <laughs> you know. So I, let me ask you. So let me ask you this: If you get Absolutely no laugh. I, I'm gonna. You, I, I think gonna, people are gonna laugh at least a little bit. And if you get absolute crickets, you're gonna try it again. Is that correct? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe try different. I mean, five minutes is only no, enough time for what? No, let jokes? me ask you this again. 
If it doesn't work out per chance where you get absolute crickets, are you going to hit that microphone again, yes or no? I would, yeah. Okay. Because, I, like I said, I'm only getting five minutes. That's only enough time for what? A couple jokes? I have, I have a lot of material, you know? Okay. I wish I could be there. I'm going to try to be there. What's the address, Tom? 161 Ludlow Street, uh, corner of Staten and Ludlow on the Lower East Side. Lower East Side. Well, you know what? You know what? Which would be great, and I think Nick would agree. I would like Matt to take 60 seconds and do something right now. Go ahead. 60 How, seconds? Yeah. That's take 60 not seconds. Time. Do something. Yo, Matt, pretend there's a crowd out there. Start off. I want to see how you're going to start off. Go ahead. Time of 60 seconds, Nick. You ready, well, Nick? Well, this isn't how I'm going to start off because... Just the way give him the idea of what I'm trying to say. I think he's basically... I'll say... Because you know, like, in, like, there's auditions too, like, say, Last Count Standing, where they don't even give you five minutes. They give you, like, a, all minute, right, a minute. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Matt. Yeah. Let's see what you can do. So he's giving you an audition to pass the Barry Ribs Club. Okay. Well, this isn't one of my best jokes. Right, well, we'll, start, we'll start it up. We'll start it up. Right? My, this isn't one of my... This way is back, the Matt, shortest one I've Matt, time out. Um, Todd, give him an intro. Okay. And give him, and give, he's gonna get sixty seconds. Okay. So this is like his first set before the first set. Exactly. This is so interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, ladies. Like, pretend like you're interested. <laughs> <like this. laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this isn't my best one, but yeah, dude, dude, do not, do not, do not cut your balls off, man. Just give, him, it, man. give him an intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't be a Bruce Jenner, okay? <laughs> oh God. Or Bruce uh, Jenner. Anyway. All right, guys. I wrote that sound. Yeah. Bruce Jinder. Good for you. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, featuring the, the comic stylings of Matt Higgins. Matt Higgins. Okay, so uh, I hate Facebook, and I'm, there's a real simple reason why I hate Facebook. Facebook has become just a constant reminder of how depressing and pathetic my life is. See. Every time I go on, I see people getting married, people having kids, people teaching their dogs how to use the toilet. I mean, it's just like, everybody just seems so happy, having so much fun. It's like, I'm getting, you know what my last friend request was? The last friend request I got was from a guy whose profile picture was Spongebob. Spongebob Squarepants. I'm like, okay, now I'm getting friend I'm not even getting friend requests from real people. I'm getting... Friend request from cartoon characters. I was like, you gotta be shitting me. Like, okay, so then I thought maybe, wait, maybe I accidentally changed my profile picture to Patrick. Maybe, maybe that, that's why I got, but no, no, that's not what happened. Stop. So that was a minute. I, got, I gotta be honest, until then, I didn't think Matt had a Chinaman's chance. Excuse me, Chinese that, that people. Was a, that was a bad one to start with, though. Excuse me, Chinese people. But I think the dude has some possibilities. I don't know about you, Todd. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, that was you a think bad Nick, one. Oh, you can't talk. That good one. <laughs> Yo, Matt, I gotta be honest, because you, sorry to interrupt, Todd. Mm -hmm. I think you got some possibilities there, man. I, Are you being honest, Barry? No, I don't yeah. say that. Yeah, good. yeah well. Dude, you, you, just, you know what the interesting thing is? You, you were super confident before, but then all of a sudden we were like, all right, it's time to ready to go. And yeah, but that's not how I was going to start. That yeah. wasn't how I was going to open but up. But that was pretty, pretty yeah. good. I wish I could get them all. Because like, you got to open big and you got to close big. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Damn. And Damn. In, that's impressive. And in the middle is the stuff that's, you know, okay. That was like something that would go in the middle. You know, something. How'd you know that already, Matt? Because I know how it works, man. I, wow. I, I've, seen enough, I've seen enough stand up to know that you got to. You gotta, you gotta catch him right away, because if you don't do something really great right off the bat, no, no, Todd, one's, gonna, no one's gonna listen to you. Todd, he's gonna bypass you, Todd. Do you really wanna <laughs> introduce him to America? Really? Yeah. You want, dude, yeah, I'll show you when I, yo. tomorrow. I'll show you how I'm gonna start it. It's yeah, like, that's good. Yo. Yo. I'll sign him to the Todd Mercy uh, production Label. management company. And that was to a camera, dude. That's You can't even... I'll be Dr. Dre. Okay. Yo, I like what I'm hearing now, man. Okay. I'm shitting in my pants now, man. This guy's gonna bypass me. Okay. I'm not. I'm, I, dude, I would not be here right now if I didn't think I really had something, you know? Like, there you go. I'm not, like, you know. Nick, Nick's, in, Nick's almost ready to talk. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Working Title Show. I'm your host, Todd Monsey. I'm here with the great Barry Ribs again. Barry Ribs. What's up? Yep. 
John Moses, a very funny comedian, who also performed that night of uh, Matt Higgins' first time, and Matt Higgins. Matt Higgins. So we're gonna like uh, we're gonna check out your set, man, and uh, they're gonna help us out. We're gonna be you know we're gonna help you out. You know they're mostly they're gonna like. Critique's a strong word. Some but destructive criticism. Not destructive. It's like, they're going to help you out. You know, you know, Moses, he's been around for a while. You know, he's a, he's a funny Canadian guy. You know, he's, he's tall just like you. He's white, so maybe you guys can connect. And he doesn't mince words. Exactly. You'll know if you should kill yourself or not. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to kill myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a strong kid, you know. He's, he's, yeah, he's yeah. got a sense of humor. He be from Jersey, sure. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see this bullshit. Okay, so. Well, you know, before we get... <laughs> Before we start, remember when Barry Ribs was saying that, oh man, you're going to be a star. Remember that? So Barry Ribs is automatically on your side. Did I say that? He said a lot of good stuff, Barry. Oh, I remember. No, he said he hated me. He did? I thought he said he liked me. Well, he said he didn't like me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so we're ready to show? Alright, alright guys, so we're going to show them the set and they're going to give their, like, critique. Or, like, just just going to watch it and, you know, mystery style 3000 like. We're going to do it. And you're glad we're here. Are you going to say that again to us? Okay. Yeah, all right, by the way, I, I've been thanking them for being yeah. here for the show yeah. up. You know. He's grateful. Even though, you know, I mean, this show's going to be huge, guys, right? Come on. Exactly. I'm doing, I'm doing you guys a favor. So we're checking this out. We're going to let Matt suspense. know if he's got a future and shit. We yeah. are talking about yeah. hundreds of YouTube views. Yeah. Easy now. Easy <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah, so hit that. Hit that, man. I can't wait. All right, we're gonna start watching Matt Higgins' set. Matt Higgins' first set. We only got three more minutes left on that thing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's a giggle. You are yeah, so like, three like, people were like, school before that. You didn't hear it. Like, <laughs> no, I was there. I remember. I was there. <laughs> yeah, he went up after that. He wrote his own laugh track. Bomb, yeah. All right, now choose your puss. Like, yeah, which one of you hoes got a big hairy bush? I'm all about the bush, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, the only one laughing here, here, and no, no, no. I'm, laughing, I'm laughing at myself. Okay, good. Yeah, laughing and staring at yeah. important. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so Barry, so what do you think about it? What did you think? Wait, about is it? are you back on? Just okay. Better, yeah. So Barry, what's your uh, what's your take after watching that? Because you were like a big, you were like you're, you were really helping him out. You know, like you were giving him good positive vibes last time we were doing here. You know, and you were really anxious to see like. His first set. Now, keep in mind, this is his first set, by the way. You know, so. Well, I got to apologize because I was cracking jokes and shit, and we were all talking, and I was like cracking jokes, and I really found it difficult to listen and critique what he was doing. So I really have failed the project, and I've failed Matt with my pearls of wisdom. But uh, I give you credit. Uh, you were up there, and um, hey, if you, I'm not finished, <laughs> and I will say this, because before we went to tape, you said, I want to try it, I like to try things, I will say this. Like buffalo wings, spicy buffalo wings. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the next thing we're going to do, <laughs> Tom takes us to buffalo wings yeah. in bed style. It'll be on location. We're going to be doing different Buffalo yeah. Wings in different cities. Yeah, we're going, to, we're going to prove your name of ribs. You know, yeah. Ba -dum -ba. So here's the thing. He's going down a, path, a rabbit hole. <laughs> here's the thing, Matt. As I tell anybody, if you were serious about doing stand-up as oh. a career, oh, you've heard this speak? <laughs> no, I just know, but I just, you know where it's going. That just feels long. <laughs> like, that's how, like, the no, I was going to get very I, long. No, I was going to get through the punchline. <laughs> if you're doing this just to have fun and stuff, that's cool. If you're doing it for a career like me and Moses and Todd to a certain extent, well, <laughs> I'm getting, Todd, I'm getting to the punchline. Oh, yeah. Matt, don't interrupt. You have a habit of interrupting. I know. Shit? Yeah. If you're doing this for a career, all I suggest is you hit that microphone four to seven nights a week, no excuses, and you, if you think funny, you will get funnier and funnier. It's really that simple. It's a matter of confidence and bravado that you feel that you own that little space up there. If you're doing it for fun, that's cool also. Because, you know, you said basically, I wanted to try something, it seemed fun, blah, 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 and I like to try different things. Now back to Todd and John. I'm finished. Great. Okay. What about you, John? Do you have any... Uh, first of all, I think, um, surprisingly, I think what Ribs is saying is pretty good as far as, like, your... <laughs> I mean, past the career stuff, like when he goes, I'm doing this for a career. No. <laughs> Rips. No, like, no. You probably don't want to be taking any advice from a 69 year old guy who's just started his career. Uh, <laughs> 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, I don't even want to. He started acting, by the way. Remember, just starting to act. You made me so, younger. Dude, I, I seriously just try. I literally did this out of just sheer, like, just desire to do something new and. I thought, who knows, maybe I'll be good at it, maybe I'll be funny, maybe I'll fucking start doing it, you know? Like, I don't... Right. It was just... So what do you think? Like It was just a spontaneous thing I just did, you know? Like, I, I just do things, you know, sometimes. Yeah, I think you're saying a question, like, uh, like what do you... I think you're trying to say is, like, what do you think about your set? Now, from watching it, like... I mean... I... Dude, I... I feel like I progressively got better as a, you know, my... My opening, my opening fucking line was terrible. <laughs> and then, what was your opener? Oh, it was like I'm from the Jersey Shore. I want to see my six pack <laughs> or something. Was that one of your jokes? Did you write? No, I, that was actually completely improvised. Okay. I because yeah. because you said well, the good thing when is. you introduced me, you were like, yeah, he's from the Jersey Shore, blah blah blah, and then I like I was like, all right, I'll, I'll do that. You, know? you have to have a certain amount of delusion in order to function in this business, and I think you've got that. <laughs> 
So that's a good in, thing. In spades. Yeah. Go. <laughs> we're all deluded. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, Ribs, yeah. very delusional. <laughs> exactly. He just started acting, by the way. He's got a nice Less and less and less, less delusional <laughs> as time goes on. But everybody has to have a healthy amount of delusion in order to pursue a, a thing in comedy. That's not a thing. Some of them are ridiculously <laughs> delusional, but I think you got that. So if you want to continue on, um, <laughs> And do this, then I think what Rivers was saying is right. Is you got to get on the horse, you know, jump yeah, on yeah, both yeah. feet and just start doing shows if it's something you want to do. Yeah. The act itself, like, if you take your first time out of it, was terrible. Um, but most people's is probably terrible the first time they ever did it. And if you want to, like, 15 years from now, like, still be doing stand up comedy and be in somebody's dormitory. Like no, no, no. A weird mini documentary <laughs> that's going to be seen for like six people. <laughs> that this is what you have to look forward to after all that hard work, you know? Uh, this is totally. I think the best advice I ever got in stand up comedy was from uh, this guy Derek Edwards in Canada, and I was 19 when I first started. And he said, uh, I said, hey, like, do you have any like, words of wisdom or advice for somebody starting out? And he goes, yeah, be a carpenter. <laughs> and it was hilarious. And then, like fifteen years later, I'm like, man, I should have—I really should have took his advice. I just should have been a carpenter. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. We're basically gonna wrap it up. So, uh, final thoughts, guys. Where did we go? Thoughts. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. I know. When you came back, I feel like we covered all the bases. I mean, you know, well, clearly, this is yeah. what this is what I have to say. I'm gonna make it short and sweet because John has got me on that leash. I would say this that Matt. Honestly, I really was not that intrigued, and I was, John, I'm trying to wrap this up. I got COVID, please. Yeah. I was like in and out of what that was. Yeah, I, I, guess you, I guess you were on a microphone at a club or something. You <laughs> 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 can't hear the last of all you got to do. The boss. The lighting, if you just get it, it's a better lit. <laughs> What I have to say is, you, you get, what you got going for you, you live on a Jersey Shore, so you could always be a surfer, okay? <laughs> actually, no, but he is right. I actually snowboard, but yeah. Uh, the things you got going for you is you're not a bad looking kid, youth, and proximity to New York City. And if you use those three I things. I said none of that. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and if you use those three That's things. Why saying it. <laughs> then you can have. Then you got a shot. Like in 10 years from now, what are you, 24 now? 28. It's oh, it's over. It's very <laughs> over. Oh, you're, you're too old for the industry. Savvy, we need you. We need some young blood. Young blood. Yeah. Oh, that sounds terrible for 28. <laughs> 22. I was like, all right, this kid might, he might have something. Oh, wow.